lanterns. Why? I hate zombies. I hate zombies. This is probably gonna give me nightmares, even though it's like shit graphics. It doesn't matter. It's gonna start thinking about apocalypse. And. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We got what looks like a 1091 E here, PG3, X, 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout for that. Texas. Area. I can tell from the trees. They may not look like Texas trees, but that guy sounds like he's from Texas. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're for making then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. Whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. What? I don't know what they said. <sighs> they didn't say that. I didn't say anything. driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Zap him. So he stops and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. 
Now, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. What's this out? other time... <laughs> Spying about zombies now. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah, fuck. Thirsty is the first thing you say. Super! Thank you, Super. Welcome back for 11 motherfucking months. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hey! Dead. Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cut back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. It's hard to move it. Damn it. Damn it. Cool. Can I like, get out of here now? I need to drag myself out that window. Do it then. I need to drag myself out that window. Scoot your ass on out there. Look at the door, use the mouse wheel or number of keys to select an action. Knocked it out more, to be honest. Right? He should cook out all that stray glass. Officer? Walking the blood trail, dude. being so sketched out already like he knows like I wouldn't be that scared to go by his face And now it's just frozen on this. <sighs> nice game. Great job, everyone. I think we made really good decisions. Pretty great. Oh, boy. Thanks, Cam. I know you appreciate a good game ending. 
Like, whoa. whoa. Oh, what's this now? Just Alt F4, right? I mean, I can't. Is that the end? Is that me losing? It popped up. Another Telltale game in the bag. This one seems shittier quality than the other ones. Like, it's bugged out five times already. Oh, shit. Officer. I don't know, dude. Stand up. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? He's dead, dude. You just blasted his head with a fucking shotgun. The fuck? Bruh. He dead. Hello? Anybody? Yeah, dude, why don't you yell a little more? Jesus Christ. I wonder if anybody's home. I don't know, dude. Let's get in there. Go inside. I wonder if anybody's home. Hey.
coming in. Don't shoot, okay? This guy is calm. This guy is fucking calm, considering. I would be screaming, ah. crying, Hello? banging on that door. Holy shit, there's zombies. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Exactly coloring book quality. I feel like usually the drawings are pretty good in the coloring book. It's fake. Damn. Oh, he needs some water. Oh! Oh, shit, dude. Maybe there's something on there. Oh, my God, dude. What, you have to look at it first? Christ. What's that beeping? Mm. Yeah, Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. Oh, this is Georgia. That's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Let me, like, move this. In there and take all that. This there place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Like, why all of a sudden it looks like. It looks like, uh. Ooh, there's the water, dude. Get that shit. Yeah. It does look like the, the zombie apocalypse has been going on for a really long time. We're like weeks in now. Maybe there's something on there. Right? Doesn't it seem like that, you guys? Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked crazy out. Guy. Anyway, he's, he's not feeling well zombie. enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Oh, shit. small. Look how small this is. Anchovies is, there's only three, four. All right. There's three and a half anchovies. Let's try it. I hope I don't like anchovies because there's no anchovies on here. This is small for a large pizza. I asked for a large. I don't like 
like it. Tastes like, um... It just tastes like fishy. Fishy. wasn't that bad. Tastes like, um, okay, actually the second bite really wasn't that bad. The first bite just had, like, the oil of it, but didn't have the actual thing. It's like, uh, Kind of like a clam, kind of similar flavor to like a like a steamer. You guys ever have like a little little steamer clam? Kind of tastes like that. It's like salty bay water a little bit. I like steamers, but it's a little different, but. pizza doesn't make sense on pizza that's what it is it doesn't work great with pizza all right good we tried something new there Yeah, I don't really get why. I don't really get why they ever made it to pizza. Why? The fuck? Can you see this? Why does this half of the pizza have no crust? It's like somebody ate the crust off my pizza. Look. What the fuck? She might have just like taken the crust off. She got hungry, dude. The <laughs> fuck? There's no pepperoni on it. That's why you don't see any. By the way, this pizza sucks. It sucks. The anchovies are fine, but the pizza is thin, which is fine. I like thin pizza, but if it's gonna be this thin, it needs to be crunchy. It can't be bendy. It can't be bendy floppy if it's this thin. And the cheese is like, a kind of like one solid piece. Mm. They're not New York standard pizza. Mm -mm. Yeah, but no, New York pizza, New York style pizza is thicker than this. It's either very thin 
and crispy or it's thicker and bendy. This is from Mod Pizza. M-O-D Pizza. That was a very salty bite. That was a very salty chove. Oh, really? I didn't even see that. I didn't see that someone in the chat said sucks ass. One star. I feel your pain. I've done that meditation master. Can I eat a little before I go back to playing? Let me finish my slice and I'll fuck. I should have got a Coke. I don't even have breakfast yet. Want this pop? He didn't like it. He ate it, but he didn't like it. Because he went to go spit out. Hi, Samurai. Here you go, Bob. And the whole thing. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> where are your parents? Why did you They ask took that? a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Are you serious? 
serious? Are you okay, Savannah? I mean, baby Savannah? Man. Hi there. <laughs> Did you kill it? It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Sure knows a fucking lie about these things. Maybe it's maybe it is safe at night for all you fucking know. How long was he out? Oh, maybe he was out for a long time, like a week. Oh, the car crash. He was out for a long time. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Getting home to mama. It's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are... Out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lean, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, me. you don't say much. Wish I had five just like you. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Jump in a fit. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I didn't remember I how her just like. can't imagine it. Consider yourself Fuck, dude, lucky. I want to go back. House is full up with mine. We got another display family do, of three sitting in the it? barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we. Uh, Find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I, I wouldn't said, wait till morning okay. either. Hell no. Hi, Meow. How well, are you? I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Me too, Nora. I'd be building high, immediately. If the doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way it's do you think okay. you're headed? Towards oh, making, I it. suppose. Don't shoot, 
It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Why'd I have to sleep out in the barn? It's like I a little kid. my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Plops. I love you, baby. <laughs> I wonder what happened with the wife, because I never got to hear it. Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. That's fucked up, dude. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Cool. Duck and I will help too. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say Yikes. Anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. You're not front of the kid. Even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel Fort Lauderdale. Here, except more with dogs and cats My and had a place not there. horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. What? No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. I'm already in. So, you're good? 
Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, yes. no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Shining. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Thanks. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. <laughs> that was bad That's to probably say. probably all I need cut for now. Oh, Thanks. Oh, shit. I want him to fuck with me, dude. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. Fuck no. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Do good. you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Seems like an all right dude. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I uh, think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... Good. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Is there any way to survive in this game? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial yeah, fisherman, nice. catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. 
It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Can you kill the kid? You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you Awesome sauce! Thank you so there much for this! There was a plan, this. having a place like so this. Timber. It was in the family, and Thanks, I guess awesome. so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! I just... Can I go back?
know, right? Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Nah, kill that old dude. to kill him. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. I take this farm, dude. I take this farm. This is real zombie apocalypse. Fuck that old dude. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. If you're in a situation, Ty, you wouldn't just say fuck you, the old guy? Look! Like, try to make me leave. Hey there! You friendly? Truck's run out of gas. Oh, okay. Not friendly, by the way. Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't Wait, care. I wasn't Maybe saying... you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Hey. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and oh, we so all end up bitten. Go. Shit. Like, up. We hey, gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Um, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. So kill him, wait, dude. About? That's he's what... bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. 
that's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. No. He's behind the counter. What? How does he know that? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Wait, oh. Jesus! Oh, oh man. You okay? Just great, thanks. What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my yeah, dad. Thought, like, a bottle Everyone else should get comfy and look know, for anything even. useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a problem. I thought she was going to give you more of a clue. Right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And Let you? me take it What's from Clementine, name? by it's the way. Name. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. She's got a mean face. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? 
I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news Is editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. It's Mondays, right? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Batteries. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Women! Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I'd be like, this bitch is fully retarded. I've been trying to get it to work. Are you serious? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. What? No thanks. Uh, huh. uh not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Cool. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I That's just, weird. uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. I can't give her it? Eh? How do you use the things on the side? I don't want to give it to her, the energy bar. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. It won't go, right? I, I could just stay on this forever? I'm gonna go pee. BRB! Mika, don't spoil!
He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah. She's dead I as think. fuck, bro. Oh. Thank you guys you, aren't Dada. together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. That's why he said the keys behind the counter. Okay, 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 okay. I was like, what the fuck? That was so unbelievable and stupid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. No, no, no. Don't do that. Jesus. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. There's a photo over there. Don't! Are you crazy? Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. Okay, is the girl this little girl this? to take care of and Clementine? Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. All right, dudes, relax. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. 
But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you. Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? So stupid. A little. I'll find you a bandage. Good thing that first aid kit's right there. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Ow. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not Thank there? Thank you so much for eight months in a row! How are you? Ah, uh, yes. Lee? Oh, yes. They'll, uh, track us down. Thanks so much, Sam. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got parents my walkie-talkie yeah. in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? How would they... We have both the walkie-talkies. Dad 
kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. In here. I saw it. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. We're really taking our sweet time going to the pharmacy, huh? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Alright. The fucking keys. Pants came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. Hmm. I lied. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. Please. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. What about the keys? Where's the motherfucking keys, dude? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. No, you're not. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, Carmen. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I forgot already. I will.
Oh, he needs a second one. You only found one. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Can't talk to him. Where the fuck are the keys? Here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. She was so stupid the last time. Jacqueline! Ten months in a row. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Jacqueline. Welcome back. September, by the way. Oh my god, she's so dumb. She put him backwards. Fuck them. Continues to spread wow. To For a smart you reporter. To stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, God bless you all. Settling. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Where's the keys? The pills are in there. Locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Yeah, I wanna track down the keys, but I don't know where they are. Jesus Christ. Do I like get them later or something? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with- Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. 
Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? The far right side of the That's office. Right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, Why'd she you say got a cat? second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you okay. know? I tried. You fucking grabbed him and ran. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Okay? We killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay, one more left for the keys. Far right side. Let's use the first aid kit. The first aid kit? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Dude, I already fed Clem. I can't feed her anymore. But there's no option. Yeah. How are we doing? Doug Good. dies next. Want to go have a look around outside? I can just fucking tell. Let's have a look around. Okay. Doug dies next. That's my guess. She's a little too Jesus. eager to be outside. No. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I think I'm giving that fat fuck one of these. Open lock? What? No. It's a combination lock. She's just gonna come right up to us? No. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, 
didn't work. There's no keys. So now we gotta go out? We gotta open this to get Glenn? Oy vey. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Oh my god. Maybe there's a way how to is this real, dude? This is not real. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I can't reach that brick. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. It's doing what locks do. Okay, can I, like, try that? I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're going to help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Okay, so I guess we just go back in. Let's head back place. inside. Okay. How come none of them are looking at him? Melted now. Talk to Carly. Oh, it tells you. Okay. Is this one Carly? Probably. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. He's making, dude. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. So we have to kill every one of them in here. 
saw one lurking on the other side of that car. We can probably make it over to the RV, or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. If we're gonna kill all these guys, we're going to have to sneak around. We can probably make it over to the RV, or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. What's the idea? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What, it was like using the gun? Where to, Ned? What? I'll cover you if you sneak over to the RV. Where to next? Oh, man. She, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Wait, so what do I do with the pillow? Oh God. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. You need to find a weapon. I feel like that's a waste of a bullet, dude. I that feel was like sick. Just punch him. Yesterday I was gonna stream, but then I um fell and broke my internet. Basically, I don't want to do this. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. You know that there is. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Listen, inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper.
that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Scramble a brain pretty good. You need to find a weapon. She's right above us, guys. Okay. I've uh, 15. Okay, so side and up do the same thing. Thank you so much, Apple. Not dude, we just stabbed her in the head. Oh shit. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. That sucks. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Yo, by the way, Glenn, I'm doing a lot of work for your girlfriend, BT Dubs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Dude. Chop that. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. Uh, what? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? Oh. I don't want that. When? It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I 
Borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's just no chop problem. Head off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Yeah. Oh, Lord, now they all come. <laughs> Why wasn't there an option of no, Glenn? We're not helping her. Let's get, get out the of fuck here. out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Oh, we have a. Th <laughs> we don't need fucking keys. Suck my butt. It is, I guess. Hi, Ratia. How you doing, man? You know. Do you know the combination oh, yeah, to the right. lock on He's... the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Axum. Everything okay? Mm-hmm.
story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention there it. Wasn't that great Just remember act. what I said. Yeah, I will. He keeps telling me to go to the office and then there's nothing. Fuck. I'll go back in there. Again. me it was in here and it's not <laughs> dude stop if you're actually just guessing if you're actually just guessing in the game you don't have to say anything because door or something because I think I saw an axe thing right before I left like it looks like right here this oh, that's just what I have doing good want to go have a look around outside let's have a look around okay think you can do anything with this you know what I could do what's that Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? His tongue. You don't have to worry about that guy biting you. He doesn't even have a jaw. But not enough. A hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. 
And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. The guy <laughs> like was like humping the TVs. What the fuck? Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? second. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. And three, nothing more Less to say. Three. Smile. I've got Less. the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Ooh. Let's get in there. <laughs> amazing. Amazing, she says. Where's the girl, dude? Take the little girl with you. Oh no. We gotta hurry. They use the keys. Why did the alarm go off? Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me! Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here! You got it! Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then! And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck! Here you go! 
Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! No, no, no. Stay away from the windows. I I'll keep the axe, sweetheart. Uh, I got that. Make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in time. Did you find anything? Nothing. The window is screwed. Go. get eaten today especially a good friend dude that old dude punches in the face fuck that guy dude meanwhile inland atlanta's been downgraded temporarily to an eight seriously for no reason Like that was legit just racist. <laughs> he punched the black guy and said, You're not coming with us for no reason. Like what he was nice to him. Shit. Hey, go ahead. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Thank you, 
can't believe how stupid he was. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Try to save Stranger during the apocalypse. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, how about Clementine? Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But that. after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We Probably. just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Connie. The truth is that Doug is not going to help me survive, and you're a badass bitch with good aim. And Doug is a dumb motherfucker that wants to chill outside. <laughs> Doug! It's the zombie apocalypse. The one place you don't chill is outside. Holy shit, Doug. He wasn't going to make it. Eh. I was just helping Darwin along, dude. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, oh man. Hell no, Rainbow Soul Man. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Nope. <laughs> no, I don't. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. 
I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You're wrong. There's like eight more seasons. Uh oh. Dang. <laughs> the light went out. <laughs> Stuck and die, no? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Connie. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Fuck yes! Now we're gonna take what we're on! Yeah! Dad, yeah, he's got that like. Wait, I didn't go with the popular shit, dude. I saved Duck. You and sixty-three percent of players were honest. You and. 49% of players so stuck. You and 48% is defended Kenny. Good, they didn't give the gun. Everyone chose Carly, dude. Doug wasn't gonna make it. Doug's not popular. It's not that she's a girl, it's that she was the better. Which one of these two is gonna live? She. Wanna go hang out outside? useful than Duck, but I tried to save Sean. And that's not possible. I beat the first part of it. There's like four parts or three parts. Thanks. 